everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting review because I've been a Bite Beauty fan for around two years now. I'm such a big fan of their lipsticks. I've tried so many of their formulas. So when I first heard that the Luminous Creme lipsticks were being discontinued, naturally I was a little bit bummed because I have so many things to these little duos and this was my very first time trying out Bite Beauty. I picked up the Palomino and Violet lip duo and I just fell in love with the formula, with the colors, with the pigmentation. It was just the best lipstick I have ever tried. So I was really bummed out, but then I discovered that they were releasing a brand new lipstick, a whole new line, new colors, there was going to be more pigmentation on the colors, and they just promised a better lipstick. So naturally I became very excited. And around a few weeks ago I was chosen to review three of the new Amuse Bouche lipsticks, which made me super excited. <laughs> so I have to thank Influencer and Bite Beauty for sending me this box. Anyone can join Influencer, it's not the platform for just content creators but if you are a content creator you might qualify for these campaigns like I did with the Bite Beauty. This was my very first little box box as they like to call it and I was super excited that it was a Bite Beauty one because I've been a fan of Bite Beauty for so long and I own so many Bite Beauty lipsticks so when I got chosen I did a victory dance. I was going crazy on Snapchat so there's that. <laughs> and the three colors that they sent me our beetroot, we have pepper, and then we have gazpacho, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. These lipsticks are so good. Let me start off by reading off some of the information here that they sent me. There's 34 lipsticks in the collection, and a lot of the colors are completely different. They're new colors, they have not been released under Bite Beauty's catalog before, so Unfortunately, some of the colors from the Luminous Creme Finish formula are not available anymore. Like one of my favorites, which was Apricot. This one is sadly not available anymore. Violet isn't available, but there are colors in the new Amuse Bouche range that are very similar to the Luminous Creme Finish colors. The Amuse Bouche lipsticks are ultra creamy and very hydrating on the lips, so they don't feel drying whatsoever. They're made with 12 kinds of oils, so you can imagine how nice and hydrating they feel on the lips. And finally, all the lipsticks have mouth-watering citrus flavors, so they actually have pressed fruit inside of the lipsticks. These are by far the best smelling lipsticks that I've ever come across. They just smell they smell like fruits. They smell like fresh fruits. They don't have that synthetic vanilla scent or like a peppermint scent. They just smell like, they smell like fruits. They smell like they're good enough to eat. And with Bite Beauty, you could technically eat the lipsticks. All the ingredients that Bite Beauty use are food grade ingredients, so you could eat your lipstick if you were stuck in a deserted island or something like that. Now let's move on to the swatching portion of this video and let's start off with the lightest color that I got. And this one is Pepper. It is a dusty rose lipstick. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Very neutral, but it has a little bit of that warm brownie undertone which makes it very wearable. I absolutely love this. This is a really great everyday color. And Pepper actually reminded me of a shade that I currently own from the Bite Beauty range and it is from their Buttercream line. And the color is Rosewood. These two are extremely similar. I would just say that Rosewood is a little bit more rose than Pepper but they're very very similar. The formula is actually very similar as well. I would say the buttercream lipsticks are just a little bit more thicker on the lips and a little bit more hydrating but both of these have that really nice luminosity. They feel very comfortable on the lips. They're extremely creamy and extremely pigmented. Now let's move on to the next lipstick which is Gaspacho. This is described as a true blue red. If you want that classic Hollywood red, Gaspacho is it. It is absolutely beautiful, super pigmented, super creamy and with this really bright red it wears really great over time. I find that I really don't have to retouch just because it does stain my lips a bit so this is a great great color. I absolutely love this shade. It is so bright and I want to take the time to compare it to a Luminous Creme lipstick that I own. This is Apricot. It's not the same shade. Apricot is more of a burnt orange while Gaspacho is obviously a true blue red but I wanted to compare just because 
Apricot is a very bright kind of red as well. And I really wanted to see how these two formulas are different from one another. I discovered that the Luminous Creme Lipstick doesn't pack a lot of pigment. When you swipe it just once, there is obviously a lot of pigment, but not enough compared to the new Amuse Bouche lipsticks. So I think the pigmentation is just a little bit stronger, and it also just holds on to your lips a little bit better with the new Amuse Bouche lipsticks. And when I saw the biggest difference is when I started blotting my lips. The Luminous Cream Lipsticks just don't leave a stain behind. They also kind of come off a lot easier than the Amuse Bouche Lipsticks. The Amuse Bouche, like I said, it does stain your lips. So if you keep blotting your lips, you'll still see somewhat of the color right there. While the Luminous Cream Lipsticks just completely faded away after a few times blotting. And finally, we have Beetroot, which is a nice berry shade. This is definitely a color that that would be very beautiful in the fall and winter. I love this shade as well. This is definitely a more of a blue toned berry shade. It comes across a little bit more red on the camera, but in real life, it is a true berry shade. Beetroot, just like gazpacho, stains your lips. So you might find that you can wear this for five, six hours. It will fade, but it will just leave that stain on your lips that you might not feel the need to actually retouch because it fades really, really nicely. And in the case of beetroot, I actually compared it to a high pigment pencil in Winterberry since these two are the only berry shades that I own from Bite Beauty. I would say the high pigment pencil feels a lot more like a balm, so it's a lot thicker and not quite as pigmented as the Amuse Bouche lipsticks, but you do get it in a more compact version so this is more like a lip crayon so you could definitely line your lips and also fill them in while the Muse Bouche lipsticks are your standard lip bullet. So now that you saw swatches and also a comparison between the other Bite Beauty formulas, now let's talk about prices because they are a little bit different from the other ones. Luminous Creme Lipsticks they used to retail for $24, the new Muse Bouche lipsticks retail for $26, and the Buttercream Lipsticks are the by far the most pricey ones. They retail for $26. $28. In all honesty, I really think that the $2 increase is definitely worth it in this case. You are getting a better lipstick with the Amuse Bouche formula in comparison to the Luminous Creme. I feel that the Amuse Bouche are a lot more creamy, they're a lot more pigmented. With one swipe, you get a lot more color compared to the Luminous Creme formula. I also feel that these lipsticks have better longevity compared to the Luminous Creme lipsticks. They just hold on to the lips a lot better. So when you eat or you just blot your lipstick, you do see that color on your lips. When compared to the Luminous Creme, that you have to retouch it after you eat or after you blot or something like that. So the Amuse Bouche definitely just hold on a lot better on your lips. And if I compare the Amuse Bouche to the Buttercream lipsticks, I still think the Amuse Bouche lipsticks are way better. They're both extremely creamy, very hydrating on the lips, but you do get a lot more colors in the Amuse Bouche range. You get 36, and with the Buttercream lipsticks, you just get very toned down, neutral shades. So if you want a bigger color selection, go with the Amuse Bouche because they feel nearly identical on the lips, and they also look pretty much the same on the lips. So if I were you, I would save those $2 and get an Amuse Bouche lipstick and set up a buttercream lipstick. And as a bonus, you get a much more comfortable lipstick application because the Amuse Bouche lipstick has a pretty standard lipstick bullet as opposed to the really blunt cut in the buttercream lipstick, which can make it a little bit difficult to apply. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review on the new Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. I absolutely love them, and I think they're way better than the Luminous Creme lipsticks, which I used to love, but now my heart has been stolen by the new Amuse Bouche lipsticks. I will definitely be picking up at least one more shade when the B.I.B. sale happens, which is supposed to be very soon, so I'm getting prepared for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments below if you love Bite Beauty, what colors do you like, or if you have any questions about the new Amuse Bouche lipsticks, I would be more than happy to help you out. And if you're brand new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking right over here. Now I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! And these are the products that I received in my March Birch Box. So the first thing that stands out is this perfume by Cartier. This is the Eau de Cartier Eau de Toilette right here. I've never 